sales of the popular weight loss drug Wegovy could slim down in the coming months. Demand for the drug, which is also used to treat type 2 diabetes, is still high and shortages continue for now. But maker Novo Nordisk is reporting a drop in sales in the second quarter, missing its target estimates. A similar story for its other blockbuster drug, Ozempic, which has missed its second quarter sales expectations also. Meanwhile, the ongoing shortage in obesity and diabetes drugs is giving rise to another kind of problem. Patients are looking for other ways to get the medication. Some have turned to med spas and telehealth providers, which use special compounding pharmacies to make their own formulations of the drugs. But now the FDA is warning against this because it's leading to a spike in overdoses. Health and science correspondent Lindsay Thies joins us live from Los Angeles tonight. Lindsay, these overdose numbers are way up. So what is happening? Well, we want to first say that no one has died from an overdose that we know of. Uh, dosing, when we talk about these drugs and this drug class, though, is incredibly important with any medication, but especially with these, because patients could be dealing with a dose in different types of units, milligrams, milliliters. And when you talk about this class of drugs, having too much can lead to really painful side effects. A warning from America's poison centers and the FDA. People are making themselves sick from accidentally overdosing on popular drugs that can cause weight loss. It's about a 69% increase um, from this time last year to this time this year. The issue, taking doses too close together or taking too much. As of July 31st, more than 4,600 calls have come into America's poison centers for GLP-1 agonist drugs. That includes semaglutide. The active ingredient in the popular diabetes and obesity injections, Ozempic and Wagovi. The main manufacturers that make these drugs have a shortage. Um, and so we see a lot of compounding pharmacies coming online, advertising their services, advertising the availability of these weight loss products. Compounded drugs are legal. They're made by special compounding pharmacies when a drug is hard to come by, like when a patient's allergic to an ingredient or there's a shortage of the medicine. But those compounded meds come with warnings. Instead of getting on the brand name product a pre-marked syringe so you know exactly how much to take, you're getting a, a regular vial and a blank syringe. And you're being told, hey, take this much. And there's a lot of confusion that we're seeing from patients in terms of how much that dose should be. The FDA recently issuing an alert after patients were injecting themselves with 5 to 20 times more than the intended dose of semaglutide. It happened from errors in preparing their own compounded semaglutide injections from multiple dose vials they had been prescribed. Some sought medical care or were hospitalized. Symptoms included nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, fainting, headache, migraine, dehydration, acute pancreatitis, and gallstones. Dr. Patricia Herford specializes in pain medicine and rehab. She prescribes compounded semaglutide to her patients like Michelle Vaught. This is the first time I've seen reliable and effective weight loss with lifestyle changes in a population that was previously sedentary. I was just excited like I could get up out of bed and I don't hurt in the morning. <laughs> My back doesn't kill me. Herford says patients need to see their trusted doctor first, armed with questions before considering compounded semaglutide, adding it might not be the best drug or there may be underlying conditions to solve first. Look for that other reason. Is it a hormone imbalance? Is it an endocrine imbalance? Is it a lifestyle imbalance? And once you can target that, then treat those conditions. And you could still use medical weight loss drugs. Important to always remember that the FDA says providers need to be very vigilant, especially when they're prescribing compounded semaglutide. They need to contact the compounding pharmacy. If they have any questions, that obviously goes with patients if they have questions too. Okay, Lindsay Thies reporting for us from LA. Thank you so much, my friend. And we want to talk more about the persistent shortages of these weight loss drugs and the impact Novo Nordisk now saying there's only a shortage in the starter doses of Wigovi, and all doses of Ozempic are currently available. America Tonight medical contributor Dr. Omar Awan joins us now. Dr. Awan, I just want to start with your reaction to Lindsay's story there and, and these overdoses. It's a problem, Maritza. It's an absolute problem. I think these drugs are really high in demand. Uh, there's a sh shortage. There are 
a short supply, then many people are taking these drugs. And it's not just people that need the drugs. You know, it's not just obese individuals. It's not just diabetic patients. It's patients that aren't obese. It's patients that aren't diabetic that are taking these drugs. And that's becoming a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's compounding uh, the reason why we're seeing such a shortage. And the problem here is, is that people that really need the drugs aren't getting the drugs. So, you know, diabetics who really need this drug to manage their blood sugar levels aren't able to access the drug. And that's devastating for these millions of Americans that are diabetic who need the drug to survive. I mean, we're talking about millions of Americans that may have complications from diabetes because they can't manage their blood sugar levels. Things like predisposed to heart disease, kidney failure, damage to nerves. This all happens when your blood sugar levels aren't well controlled. So this is a major problem and we have to be a lot more vigilant to address this and people have to be honest. You know, if you don't have diabetes, if you're not obese, you shouldn't be taking these drugs. But we know so many people, especially um, women in my age category, have body dysmorphia and and other similar um, attitudes and thoughts. And I know a lot of people really heading toward using these drugs, even though the makers of these weight loss drugs say that their supplies have stabilized or are close to it, there's still plenty of patients who can't access the medications yet, especially in different regions. How long until they can? And, and why is that happening in specific areas? There's, there's, there's no telling how long this is going to be. <clears throat> this shortage has been going on for a very long time. We're talking about months to years. And some reports have said that this will continue till the end of this year, if not next year. So we have no idea. So there needs to be a lot more transparency. There needs to be physicians also have to be held more accountable. I mean, now telehealth is allowing these drugs to be prescribed very easily, even compounded versions of these drugs very easily. I mean, without much vetting. So we're talking about someone that is not obese, is not diabetic, can literally go on the internet and get a prescription for these drugs. And the problem also is that these compounded versions aren't necessarily safe. So I think something to remember here is that, yes, although the FDA allows compounded versions to enter the market when there's a shortage of a drug, they're not tested the same way a brand drug is tested, right? So it doesn't go through the same test to test if the drug is safe, if the side effect profile is safe. So literally, you can be putting something into your body that can cause enormous side effects. And in some cases, in severe cases, it can actually kill you. And you know, I say that because these drugs, these compounded versions aren't always safe. And in fact, many of the times they're not safe. So I would very, very cautiously tell everyone to be very careful if you're taking these drugs and make sure that if you are taking these drugs, you talk to your physician one-on-one -on -one in person, and you also check to see if the pharmacy is licensed by a credible state and a credible authority. Okay, America Tonight medical contributor Dr. Omar Awan with some great advice. Thank you so much, and we are back after this.